Hey everyone, welcome back. So previous episode, we talked about how to create this figure object in LaTeX. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about how to render programming code in LaTeX document. Let's go back to the code lab for just a sec. So we did some principal component analysis. We have this graph, right? Let's say now you have this Python syntax that you want to save in the document, okay? So you grab that, and then you can come back here, and then you want to put it somewhere here, right? Now, the problem is, if I just copy paste the code here, first of all, it won't work because there are all these errors. And the reason there are all these errors is because these hashtag or these underscore, they will give you an error. They will give you a bug. That's why you see this auto correction is trying to give you some suggestions. But based on my experience, this is probably not going to work because it doesn't really read these suggestions or clean up as well as what it's supposed to do because this is not natural language, right? This is a Python code. So that's what we're here today. That's why we're talking about. So let me just show you the error. If you just render this directly by copying and paste and Python code here, you're going to see something really weird. And then you're going to see on top, it says, hey, look, you know, we got a couple of bugs, right? We need to install the, and the hashtag probably doesn't work, you know, things like that. This is because the system is trying to render this as latex programming language. But what you have here, it's not in latex, it's in Python. So that's not gonna work. So let's get rid of that. The right way to do it is you do something like this. So there's an object you can create called verbatim. Verbatim means whatever text you want to type down, that's it. We're not changing that. We're printing the text as it is. That's what verbatim means. And then you can paste your code down here. You can probably align this indentation a little bit better. And then if you have a hashtag, no problem there, you will render it. So let's take a look. Boom, there you go. The errors are now gone. And then you have syntax here. And now, of course, you can do a couple of things that's interesting. You can say, add a couple of comments, add comments up here. And then you can say from Python, from board, some package, whatever you want. And then you see here, there's an underscore. Underscore is not supposed to be rendered in LaTeX. But since I am doing this in Python code as a part of Python code, under this verbatim object, this underscore will be perfectly fine. So let's render that again. And boom, there you go. You can see that the code is rendered here, and then there's no error in the log. These red lines are the autocorrection. You can just ignore that, like we always do in Word documents. On top of that, you can also add in label, so slash label, and then you can say, code for PCA. Now, if you put the label in here, it's actually thinking about as part of the text you want to throw in verbatim, it will actually print that out, which is not what we want. So in terms of labeling a piece of verbatim, you want to put that on top of this, just like that. And in this case, then you can render it. We present our code in code and then you can say ref, and then you can refer code, colon, code for PCA. Finish that sentence with a period. Now you can render. It will say, hey, we have code 3.1 here, right? And then we have a verbatim here. And that's how you refer a piece of code in your latest. Last thing I wanna show you is these apostrophes. So LaTeX unfortunately renders the password is slightly different than how Python is doing it. Even though this works in Python, it's not gonna work in LaTeX. So how we're gonna do it is we are going to change this as a dot or blue, do the same thing. Now let me just render this to show you guys the difference. Now you can see that the single quotation is lined correctly versus if you just do one single quotation that's near the enter sign on your keyboard, 
uh, this is not going to work out well. So you want to use apostrophe on the keyboard near letter one, just like that. And then let's render again. You can see that these two symbols are changed for principal. Let's finish that up for PCA down here as well. Let's render again. There you go. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.